This is a really short little tutorial on how to manipulate which part of a pattern is going to be looping. Something which if you've come from Ableton Live or Logic, it's really easy to change the position of the loop. Maybe not quite as immediate in machine, but I'm going to show you a little workaround now. So, just got some drums playing on group B, group A. I've loaded a guitar, guitar loop. You can see it's two bars long. Now if I wanted that to just loop around the first bar, I've got it pinned in pattern mode. Just change the length of that to one bar. But what happens if we wanted to loop it around the second bar? I'm just going to change that back to two bars in length. I'm going to hit select, events, and just select all those events. And now using rotary number five, very quickly, I can just nudge those back 16th at a time. So now bar two is in the position of where bar one was and vice versa. Go back to pattern, just nudge that down to a bar in length. And in fact, while those are selected, we've got it looping around the bar. I could just use the position rotary control number five when I'm in select mode. to uh, just change the emphasis of that loop a little bit. What happens if we want to make the loop smaller than a bar? Well, what we need to do is hold grid, by default step length, and also the quantize value is uh, what we use the 16 pads to select, but where it says pat length, button number three, I'm going to press that. And now we choose the default denominator for adjusting the length of a loop. At the moment it's set to one bar, so any adjustments that I make will be um, in bar integers. Let's set that to a quarter. Now let me go pattern. And length is in now the, uh, the, the denominator of a quarter of a bar. So it says four so four quarters equals one bar so the loop is one bar in length make that half a bar or even quarter of a bar if i set it to eight eight times a quarter that's two bars in length go back to select i've still got all those notes selected You can hear we're really starting to change the emphasis and uh, make that loop uh, a bit more our own rather than just pulling a standard loop out of the machine library. Go back to pattern so I can change the length. So in a nutshell, what we're doing is we're moving the events that we want to be in the loop to the start of the loop, and then we are adjusting the length of the loop so that it just loops around uh, those events that we've put at the beginning of the bar.